Hey everybody, I am so glad for you all to be here tonight. I'm so glad to be here because Eliza is here. Eliza, are you excited to be here? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I'm a so, little nervous. Yeah, shout out to Eliza. This is a little outside of her comfort zone. So if if your comfort zone was Maryland, where we are right now, which state would we be in currently? Like Virginia, West Virginia, California. How far outside of your comfort zone are we? California. California. But we're still in America? So we're doing okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, guys, I'm so excited for you all to get to meet Eliza. I post pictures of her all the time and I talk about her in my videos. But today you actually get to meet her and see her beautiful face. I didn't tell her we were doing... I didn't... I, I didn't ever tell you we were doing this. We didn't decide to do this until like 30 minutes ago. And she goes, I didn't even get to do my hair today. <laughs> but just another, I tell her all the time that, and I mean this in the nicest of ways when I tell you that if I was a girl, I'd probably hate you. Because she looks like this on a day that she doesn't have any makeup. You hardly ever wear makeup. Didn't do your hair. I don't think she showered, did I? <laughs> <laughs> And yeah, so I, I probably wouldn't like you if I was a girl. I'd probably just be so jealous of you. But as it is, I like you quite a bit. So Eliza, what uh, what should people know about you? Um, I don't really know. I guess um, a college student. Um, go to Shepherd University in West Virginia. Business major. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I don't really know. Recently else. became a business major. You yeah. weren't until like a couple of weeks ago. What yeah. were you before? I was a photography major. Um, still a photography minor. But yeah. Oh look, Alex, you have a you have a mini halo behind your head. <laughs> it's yep, she just radiates that or actually tell them about this. Because this is your doing, that halo behind your head. Yeah. Oh my goodness. It was a journey getting here i came from the ukraine um but yeah i had i was so excited for this i couldn't i couldn't handle it i was like oh my gosh but it came in like this damaged box when i got here and i was so nervous but it and you said it got in like the 23rd right yeah yeah so she got what where'd you get it etsy or i got it from etsy yeah okay yeah, well, they did great work. And I got in trouble, though, the other day because she's usually not, well, she's hardly ever on my channel. This, although you have been on my channel once before. Mm. We had a few less subscribers then. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, she was on my channel. Has anyone seen that video? Shout out to you if you have. But you watched one of my live streams the other day. I wasn't anticipating that. You usually don't watch my videos. Mm -hmm. And she commented on it, and I missed her comment, and I felt really bad. Yeah, so he, he ignored me. I didn't I didn't see it. Uh -huh. Look, how many of these people have you ignored? How many comments have you read? See, it's a little <laughs> tricky. It's a little tricky. Well, thank you all so much for being here. What what do you want to know about us? How long have we been together, Eliza? Um, next year. Next year. Next year. <laughs> no, this month. It's January. It is January. Um, in a couple of days, 20, the 20th, it'll be three years. Three. She she gets an award for putting up with me for three years. Shout mm -hmm. out to you. And tomorrow, yeah. speaking of threes, January 3rd, tomorrow is Eliza's birthday. So mm -hmm. if you think of it, tell her happy birthday. You can say it on my channel and I'll be sure to tell her. Um. But thank you so much for doing this. We've talked about doing this live stream for a while because people always are like, we want to meet her. And I know how, isn't this username great? Her username is Hallie Lujas. That's pretty clever. <laughs> That's cute. Yeah. Well, she has asked me several times about you. She's even offered to like talk to you. She's so sweet. Aww. Yeah. And Hi. But yeah, people say they want to meet you. Recently, uh, people keep saying, people keep yeah, I guess saying, not asking, that we look very similar. And we get that a lot. I yeah. don't really know what to do with those comments. Someone asked me today if we were separated at birth. I don't think we were. I think I both of our mothers can not. attest to yeah. that. Yeah, that would, that would be awkward. But yeah, yeah it's, um, I don't know. It's just, 
speaking of us though, you guys want to see a really unflattering picture of me? That's not nice. You're laughing at me. She's laughing at me. She's a bully oh, sometimes. Gosh. So I was going back right before we started this and tried to find the first picture that we have together. Mm. And almost exactly three years ago, because it was taken on January 1st. Mm. Yeah. Wow. So this is me three years ago and one of Eliza's friends. Her name is Sydney. Uh, let's let's see if I can pull this up. Check out that <laughs> hair. Her friends called me Hammerhead for like a year because of this picture. Oh my god! And uh, yeah, that was rough. Quite, quite. <laughs> Did you see Hallie's comment? All right, I'm gonna try it live on air. She said, "Austin practiced with me." Eliza, you are right. Eliza, Thank you. you are right because you agreed with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's usually right. She's she's like that. A lot of people have been saying happy birthday to you. Thank you. Oh, the third is the feast of the holy name of Jesus in the Catholic Church. Did you know that? No, I did not. I didn't know that either. Mm -mm. Did you know? You remember that video I did at Cantius? Yes. The Catholic Church? Mm -hmm. I released it like the day after the feast of that saint. I, I missed an opportunity there. Wow. Yeah, I should keep up on my liturgical calendar better. <laughs> Eliza says, or <laughs> Hugh says about us that we've swapped hair lengths. <laughs> yeah, your hair was a long. Her hair was also blue when I met her. Yeah, it, you haven't had it colored since then. No, well, you had like, like it washed out. Yeah, like kinds before, but yeah, it was. Uh, <laughs> that was something. So Hugh, I was just telling Eliza about you. Can I brag about Hugh for a second? Everyone, Hugh's gonna be a great father. I'm so excited for him. Hugh just had his first baby. How exciting is that? Oh, that's so exciting. And he sent me a video of him talking about the channel and a picture of his son. And my favorite, well, there's a lot of favorite parts about the video. But part of the video, he, had, he told me, I sent you a picture of my son. And if you don't like babies, well, that's okay. But I sent it anyway. You can just ignore it if you don't like babies. Oh. Hugh and everyone, I like babies. Don't worry. I'm, I'm not some type of psychopath. Um, I guess some people just don't like babies, though, and they're not psychos. That's probably not very kind. I take it back, everyone. I take it back. But, yeah. So, if you guys have questions for us, we thought we'd just hop on for a little bit, do some Q&A. We also... We brought our own questions. Do you want to tell them the story of these questions? This is this is love right here. So, I don't know. I'm usually not a question person. and y Yeah, and I'm a question asker. But, yes. You know, so, I never thought about that. And now I do interviews. It kind of works out. Yeah, there you go. So, I don't have to ask you all the questions. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, and so, we were all, I don't know. You just brought them down during quarantine, didn't you? Was it just quarantine? Yeah, because I think the first time we used it was when we were down driving down to Hooper's Island. Yeah. And we were just doing yeah. nothing all day. Yeah, so it was like during that those two weeks that everything was just shut down. And I made a little jar with questions in it because I thought, I don't know, just something to do and he would enjoy that. So. Yeah, it was so thoughtful. <clears throat> she And now I get to, you ask me questions and they're ready-made. Mm -hmm. Which is so nice because I just, I like to ask very strange questions all the time. Oh, this is a good question though. Yeah. Alex. Oh, did you see it? So you're already better at this than me. I'm not, <laughs> the reading, the talking, the, eh, it's hard. Anyway, how did we meet? Okay. This is going to be a long story, um, but I'll try to make it short. Um, so should I start at the very beginning or just like? I mean, stories usually start at the beginning. Okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, so, I don't know. I saw him up on stage playing guitar. At church. At church. Or at a retreat. At a retreat. That's what it was. Yep. At the spring retreat. There's like a spring and a fall. And I thought, wow, he's really cute. And then... <clears throat> and then um, I was like, I'm never going to never gonna like speak to him or anything because he's, Cause he's cool. so under your league no because he's too cool for me he's, uh -huh. he's playing guitar up on stage then you met me yeah and so then the fall and i never knew his name or anything try to figure it out but never did and then the fall retreat mm -hmm. 
um, my small group leader knew him, um, or knows him still. Still does. <laughs> and, um, so, uh, I figured out his name. He, she, a big like, step, guys. Yeah. She, one day we were just walking around and then she just introduced like the whole, our whole group to him, mm -hmm. um, and told us how cool he was. I was like, I can believe that. And so then a month later ish, November, um, we went to this cons. well, we went to this video shoot for this, um, United Pursuit. Um, mm -hmm. Will Reagan, United yeah. Pursuit. Anyone listen to them? They're great. Mm -hmm. um, There's like music video shoot. And so actually on But we the didn't way, go together. Right, right. We hadn't met yet. Right. So on the way there, I'm with my sister and my friend, Sydney, who was in that picture. Who called um, me Hammerhead. Yeah. She's a bully. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyways, so... Um, we were on the way there, and we were talking about you. I know. It's weird. It is kind of weird. Oh, I've... She kind of stalked me, is the, the bottom line. <laughs> I did not stalk you. <laughs> and... He said thanks for shaving. Oh. <laughs> I can't have both of you on this stream. No love. And so then, um, where was I? Oh, sorry. We you were, were in the car. We were on the way there. Yeah. Um, we were talking about you. We we're talking about him on the way up to the in the elevator. My friend Cindy was still talking, and right when it opened up, she stopped talking, and he was standing right there. And we were like, "Oh my goodness!" And so, and uh, then yeah, and then she, he posted a little video from that night, and I slid in those DMs. slid right into those DMs. <laughs> she was like, "No way! I was there too." <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah, I just kind of took off from, yeah. from there. Then she asked me questions about photography because you knew I did that. Mm -hmm. and questions she easily could have Googled. And I was like, why is she asking me? And then we were like, hey, we should go take pictures sometime. Yeah. And the there rest is history, as they say. Yeah. But that's a, that's a long answer to your question, Alex. Yeah, sorry, a little long. But... No, no, like a good long answer. Okay. But I was just like, <laughs> he's... No, My stories are usually long. Hey, I like your stories. All right. Uh, Melissa said, by the way, cute thumbnail picture of you two. Do you remember which one I picked? The one in the snow? Yeah. Yeah. That was at her dad's house the other day, West Virginia. Yeah. They get more snow here than here. We're in Maryland at my parents' house. By the, It's like on the Chesapeake Bay. Anyone know Maryland? Shout out to Maryland. Uh, someone asked why you chose Moody, but Hallie clarified that you don't go to Moody. Why didn't you choose Moody should be the question because Moody's the best. <laughs> Tried to talk her into it. No luck. It's, you know. Yeah. Too nerdy. Yeah. And I'm there. Mm -hmm. Now, Shepard's a great school where she goes. Uh, oh, I like this question. Let's talk about this one. Benjamin asked, what spiritual things do you guys do together? Oh, nice question. I like that question. Yeah, so... We really try to focus on keeping God the center of our relationship. Um, so we do quite a few things. I mean, we pray together. Um, but the way we do that, I think, is kind of interesting. Yeah. When we're at school. Yeah. Yeah. So um, when we're at school, he um, we set up like a time. Um, and we'll call each other and we'll pray over the phone. Yeah, um, every morning. Every morning. Before classes. Yeah. Because she's in Shepherdstown, West Virginia, and I'm in Chicago, Illinois. Well, oh, that, no, for once I actually got that right. I always switch it because it's reversed, but apparently I just actually messed it up and then it worked. Anyway. There we go. And, um... So that's oh, how do, we pray together. Yeah, we pray together, and then we do Bible studies together. We'll do it, like, on the version app, because um, you can, like, set it up where you can, like, comment back and forth. Yeah, I never knew that. She, I, I don't know, I guess she's just a better Christian than me and knew how to do that and set that up. And we've really enjoyed that, doing, mm -hmm. uh, I, I want to pick, like, I don't know, I was thinking about doing a year-long plan for 2021. Okay. It's ambitious, okay. but I think that could be kind of fun together. Yeah. 
But, and what I love about that is starting the day with prayer together, it, it works really well. It's only a couple minutes because we both have to mm-hmm. go to class. You're definitely not a morning person. So I, I can't wake her up too early. And there's a time difference. Mm-hmm. But what I really like about that is it lets us talk first thing in the morning and it lets us kind of start the day with that. But then it's also just a great way of knowing what's going on in your life because mm-hmm. long distance, I don't know if any of you guys have done long distance. Um, it's kind of not the best. Mm-hmm. It's not, no. but it lets you like, for instance, I might not know you would have a test that day. Otherwise mm-hmm. you're like, Hey, could you pray for me? I have this test. I'm all stressed about it. Then I know to be thinking about that. Maybe mm-hmm. to send you like a friend's meme at some point from the day. So that, you know, my favorite. Yeah. Yes. She's wearing friends socks right mm-hmm. now. She's a big friends fan. Yeah. Um, other spiritual things we do together, um, pray, read the Bible. We sound like very good evangelicals right now. We, we check those boxes. Mm-hmm. Um, we both enjoy, I mean, like this is another very obvious one, but like going to church together or worship nights together. Mm-hmm. We're both very big music people. Mm-hmm. I play music. You enjoy listening. To, we both enjoy listening to it. Um, but I, I really enjoy doing that together. Mm-hmm. Um, I will say another thing. He recently got me into theology books. Oh, this is so, so fun. Yes. Yeah, that'll be interesting. Um, but yeah. Yeah. That's another what one. was the first theology book you just read? Uh, Delighting in the Trinity. Yeah. Yeah, really it, good book. It's great. And then we just got, I bought you uh, Rejoicing in Christ or Rejoicing in Jesus. What's the title of that one? Rejoicing in Christ. Rejoicing in Christ. By And they're both by... Um, Michael Reeves, who's fantastic. So we're going to read that one together. Uh, We're going to read that together. And then when we finish that, read another one. Kind of a funny story about that. I always think that I'm the nerd in this relationship. That, I mean, all my books are over there. And that's what I always thought. And so she just finished Delighting in the Trinity, a great book on the Trinity. And she texts me and says, hey, have you ever read, I forget what even the name of that book was. Me too some book and i was like no i don't think so she's like it's by john owen i'm like john owen like the 18th century puritan she's like yeah it's like that's what you want to read like that book is like 800 pages i was like thinking because i had already bought you the book i bought you like a 150 page book (laughs) that has some pictures in it that i was really excited about and she's like let's read this 800 page tome on uh Oh, no, it was like Life in Christ, I think is what it is. On Union with Christ. Something. Yeah. Yeah. Communion. With was it called Christ? Communion with Christ? Is that what it was called? Communion with, with Jesus? Something. So, with God. Yep. Something like that. Probably. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Rodian, I think is how you say your name. You, you told me last night, Rodian. It's like hard O, Rodian. I hope I got this right. Okay. Burger King or McDonald's. This is a big one. Burger King. Can I pick Popeyes? Oh, <laughs> Chick Fil A. <laughs> Closed on Sunday. Okay. What did you say, Burger King? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not a big McDonald's guy. Yeah. I'm not really a big Burger King guy either. Yeah. For like a one dollar mini shake. Oh. Mm. Mm. Have we heard the Bible in a year podcast? I have heard of it, but I haven't listened to it. Have you heard of that? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Heard of the Bible Project? Fun news about that. I can't announce it yet, but wink, wink, fun news about the Bible project. Oh my goodness. I'm not going to keep that secret in long. I feel like I pretty much just told everybody. That's okay. Oh, Austin Adams asked, I- I'm going to assume this is uh, to me. Are you more of a Gibson or Fender kind of girl though? Do you know what that means? No, uh, I know there are types of guitars. Okay, that's good. That's Thank good. You. Do you know what kind of that is? Fender. Good job. Ah. Thanks. Fender. Yes, Fender all the way, Austin. I have my strat right there in the background. Oh, I don't have another no, I have another Fender bass over there. I sold my Fender acoustic. But you wanna do that one? Sure. You wanna do that one? Okay. I told her everyone is going to want to ask this question. So I I, right. I warmed you up with it. So how, yeah. how would Eliza react if I became Catholic? So I think it would get... It, oh my gosh, words. Um, it would be a lot to get used to. However, if he became Catholic, I know that there's a reason behind that. And I think it would be a good one. And um, 
don't know. I think I would look into it a little bit more too, just yeah. to figure out why. Um, and yeah, but I don't think I'm going anywhere. So <laughs> that's a fair answer. So there, I know a lot of people have asked that. Um, oh, someone asked Sebastian. I just want to brag on you again. So what's that light in the background? We talked about this earlier, so I won't go through all of it, but it's a custom neon sign of my logo that Eliza ordered. No, you're fine. Got me for Christmas and got it all the way from the Ukraine, I mm -hmm. believe, which I think Rodian is from the Ukraine, which it has to be like midnight there. But um, I imagine your answer would be the same for that one. What if I became Orthodox? Yeah. Same thing. Mm -hmm. Um yeah. All right. Ooh, he built his own strat. A strat's like big that's attack. crazy. Shout out to you, Austin. Um, did you also did someone ask me what model? Oh yeah, Dominic. I like all the guitar questions. Uh, what model is your strat? It is a. It was a special edition done by Guitar Center. It was the special edition raw, uh, made in America. So it's like raw finished i like it it was an impulse purchase that's not how you sp you're supposed to buy things in fact usually i'm the like really what's a nice way of putting cheap um you're the receiver on the spender yeah I, well yeah that makes me sound better so yeah but i picked that guitar up in a guitar center one day and i went home with it i said uh oh i'm keeping this one um <laughs> it is pretty edit thank you that's what matters right yeah yeah especially if it's yeah yeah okay do you want to answer that do you have an answer for that okay um any questions you guys have oh what's your favorite worship song Yes, Seema said frugal. I think that sounds better than cheap. You think that sounds better than cheap? Yeah. Okay. Yes, yeah. I'm frugal. Favorite worship song? Favorite. Or would album be easier? Or band? Um, I really like the House Fires. Mm. They're good. Yeah. I really like them. Yeah. Do you have a favorite song by them? Build My Life, that's a classic. Mm. That song, like, it should have gotten old by now, but it hasn't gotten old for me. Yeah. Yeah. Although, like, I feel like Will Reagan has kind of a soft spot because we met through him. I haven't mm. listened to him much in, in a bit, though. Yeah, I know. Unite Pursuit. Their last mm. album. Yeah, mm. yeah. The Simple Gospel Simple is always gospel. a good one. That That's fire. That's what they were... No, that's not what they were... What were they recording? If you look up... United Pursuit live in Baltimore, you'll see Eliza all over it. I was there too, for the record, and I'm in like a split second of like one of the videos. If you like take a magnifying glass, you can almost see me. But she's like front and center the whole time. I looked cooler because I had blue hair. Yeah. Nah, you are cooler. But um have you ever been to a Catholic mass? Someone asked. No. I, I hadn't until so. like this year. Mm mm. If you come to Chicago, you wanna go to Kansas with me? Sure. The one I toured? Yeah. You want to meet Father Joshua? Yes. He's the best. I really do want to meet him. Father Joshua is so cool. If you come up, I should get um, Keith Nestor to come because he's been wanting to come to Chicago okay. and go there with me. You can meet. Do you remember Keith Nestor? He was like the mm -hmm. first person I interviewed. Yeah. He's not Keith Little. That's Kevin. Keith, that's the Canadian one. Okay. He's the one that wants me to shave and mm -hmm. just, you know, we, oh, we don't like him. <laughs> we love Keith. Um, no, I think I actually watched that video. The one with Keith Nestor? Yeah. Yeah. I interviewed him. He interviewed me. Right. It was a good time. He has great hair. Mm hmm Yeah. He plays drums. Okay. Oh, someone asked me, can you interview Lizzie Rize? Yes, I would love to. Something I noticed when I did... Did you notice this? My thumbnail of um, the year-end recap, all the people on it. Did you mm -hmm. notice any trends on there? Mm-hmm. They were all white dudes. Oh. And I was like, I should at least have, like, not just, not like for a token thing, mm -hmm. but that's not like, I don't know. I want more perspectives on yeah. the channel. And so, yeah, I'd love to interview Lizzie, not just because of that. Uh, she's someone that converted to Catholicism mm -hmm. 
she has like 200,000 subscribers. She's making videos since she was like in middle school. Mom. Her most popular video is like, how do you know if a boy likes you? And she's like 12 in it. It has like 7 million views. It's like, I wish I was making videos when I was 12. Anyway. Um, yeah. What do you want me to talk to Lizzie about? I'd interview her. Tell me the topic. Ooh, what kind of Protestants are we? Do you know the answer to that question? Yeah, you see, in Protestantism, like, you don't necessarily, you, like, I didn't grow up thinking what kind of, I didn't even really, did you use the word Protestant growing up? No. No. Okay. So the answer to that mm -hmm. would be, well, at FCF, FCF is a non-denominational church. Right. But it's very, like, Baptistic mm -hmm. in flair. That's the church we both grew up at. Neither of us go there anymore. But, so, didn't baptize babies. Um and yeah, just kind of had like a Baptist um, view of there were no bishops, all mm -hmm. that. Technically, do you know what the church you've been going to while you're at school is? Yeah. They don't advertise it really. You have to like scroll. They're For all purposes, they're non-denominational. Mm -hmm. They're also Baptistic in a way. But do you know what they're? They're assemblies of God. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But they don't yeah, like sure, bring out mean? the snakes. You don't speak in tongues, do you? No. Mm -hmm. Not yet. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, okay. Thank you guys so much for being here. There's over 100 people watching. Oh, wow. Hi, everybody. <laughs> hi. So glad you're here. If you're just jumping on, this is Eliza. Oh, wait. Can I do this? This is Eliza. <laughs> Thank you. She told me I shouldn't do that, but it's kind of funny. It's kind of funny. Can I do it again? No. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. People are asking me some questions. I'll answer those. Uh, interview with Dr. Taylor Marshall. Controversial opinion? You don't know who Dr. Taylor Marshall is, do you? He's a Catholic YouTuber. You don't watch Catholic YouTube? You don't really watch YouTube. Anyway. Um, the question I'd want to ask him is, why should anyone be Catholic if it's half as bad as he makes it out to be so he wrote a book called infiltration and it's about just all the bad actors inside the vatican and all the problems in the catholic church and he just makes it sound like really really bad like well, why would what, like are you trying to sell catholicism like what are you trying to do mm -hmm. um but he is he's a bright guy um but i, I don't see me interviewing him anytime soon um oh are you reading anything good right now alex with all the good questions are mm -hmm. you reading anything good right now? Yeah, I'm reading Red Rising. Uh, I don't know who it's by. I forget. Uh, something Pierce. I don't know. I forget. Um, but that's really good. It's kind of like the Hunger Games. So like, like Hunger Games and Divergent had a baby on Mars. Mm -hmm. And then you have Red Rising. Yep, that's basically it. <laughs> yeah. I'm excited to start rejoicing in Christ with you, though. Yeah. That should be good. I'm really excited. I'm reading uh, The Way of the Pilgrim right now. You're going to read that at some point after me yeah the one i was talking to you about mm -hmm. way of the pilgrim well technically i'm reading the pilgrim continues his way because i finished the way of the pilgrim but what a book um yeah loving that and then i think i'm going to start that one by alex Hare, the once and future witches mm -hmm. you started reading that today yeah yeah i was i interviewed michael lofton today from reason and theology on the magisterium and do you remember what the magisterium is oh pop quiz Harry Potter? No, I'm just kidding. It's not from Harry Potter. Uh, shout out to Sarah if she's watching. I told you the story about one of my patrons saying her husband was watching and she was like, Magisterium, isn't that from Harry Potter? It's like, almost. That's what I thought. Um, it's the teaching authority okay. of the Catholic Church. Um, so we did that interview. And while I was doing that, she stole my book and was reading that. Um, special date spot when she visits Chicago. Ooh. What's your favorite place we've been to in Chicago? I feel like this is too close to me. You can get closer to me too. You like be in the frame. I don't bite. I showered. Oh. Um. Hmm. All of the coffee shops. Do you have a favorite that didn't go out of business because of COVID? That was so sad. Oh, much love to. Oh my goodness! I already forgot. Three greens. Name. Three greens. Oh yes. my goodness. Well, they're dead to me because they left me. They abandoned me. Um, yeah. 
I loved Three Greens. It was a coffee shop pretty close to Moody. It had like all couches. They played Disney movies. Also had a small Cheval in it, which is the best burger in Chicago. Um, yeah, that was really sad when that went out. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I think I know. Mm-hmm. Best date spot. It would be the drawing room. Oh, yeah. If you're ever in Chicago, you need to go to the drawing room. If you're like me and you're not rich, but you think it'd be fun to pretend like you are for a day without actually spending the money, go to the drawing room. It's It was previously, I don't know, like a country club without a golf course? What do you call that? I called it a gentleman's club once. And I'm like, I don't think that's what I mean. <laughs> that is not what it was. So. It was. But, but I was thinking because it was like a yeah. Like yeah. rich no. old dudes went there. Yeah. And I don't know, they probably like smoked cigars and did whatever they did. But they... Um, yeah, there's a there's it it just feels so fancy, but you can get like a four dollar cup of coffee, but be surrounded by like chess boards and like eighteen billion fireplaces. We should play chess there next. We're both into chess now. She beat me for the first time the other day and I was not happy. It was, I was so excited. I was kind of excited for you, almost. Not mm-hmm. Ooh, take you to a concert of music of the Baroque next time. That'd be fun. You mm-hmm. wanna go to like a classical concert? Sure. I took I didn't take you because you weren't there. Mm-hmm. But me and Luke, I went to a uh, candlelight Mozart concert in the city. This is why it's so fun to live in Chicago, to live in any major city, because you get to do things like that. It's, yeah, you should have gone to Moody. It's so fun. Yeah, in all seriousness, though, uh, it is really sad for all the small businesses that went out. If it, I mean, it's not really any consolation. It was part of like a chain. It was, it was part of a restaurant group. And so the restaurant group didn't go out, but they kind of strategically pared down. But yeah, it's been tough on small businesses. Mm -hmm. You work at a small business. I do, yeah. And yeah, it's been really tough. What do you do? I think what you do is kind of interesting. Really? You don't think it's interesting? No. No? Well, I work at an oil and vinegar shop. That um, her aunt owns? mm -hmm, That my aunt owns in Frederick. Um, Yeah, and I work in like the pits... It's located in like this um, oh, shopping center. And yeah, a lot of businesses have gone out around there, which is really sad to see. Um, even the movie theaters went out there. Um, mm. but, yeah. yeah. But the vinig- oil and vinegar store, it's so fancy. You can get like bacon or basil or garlic or all these. How many flavors of olive oil do you guys have? I think it's over 40 like oils and vinegars. Okay. It's really good. So, uh, Maria asked if we play online chess or real life chess. We play both. Yeah. Yeah. We play both. Um, and you play a decent amount online actually now, don't you? Mm-hmm. I, I play probably more than I should. Ooh, cute. I would love to see this happen. I actually reached out to him via email a while ago, but I might try to just see if Matt Frad can hook us up. Cause we, um, I have his number now, but I, w- I would love to have an episode with capturing Christianity. I'm guessing, I don't think I've ever showed you any of his videos. He he has really good lighting, actually. That, that He has a lot more than that. But when I see his show, I'm like, man, your lighting's good. But he does stuff on apologetics um, with good lighting. Okay. A couple of people talking about Steve Wright. I'd like to interview him. Oh, someone else said me and Cameron from Caption Christian. Yeah, I want to do a video with him. And I'd like to just kind of compare notes on Catholicism and Orthodoxy. I think that'd be fun. He's a Protestant, but he's also friends with Matt Fred. I say also. That might be a little presumptuous to say me and Matt Pratt are friends. Might be a little bit of a stretch, but Matt's super, super great and love to do that video. She was making fun of me the other day. You weren't making fun of me, but there might be like a little eye roll because on New Year's, Matt Brad did a live stream and I saw one of the cigars I bought him in the thumbnail and I just scrubbed through the video like, did he give me a shout out? He did. I was very (laughs) excited. Okay. Ooh, Interesting. Hallie said, interview a Catholic mom's life for women, woman interviewee. I'll look into her, Hallie. I haven't heard of her channel, but that, I mean, there's a lot of people I haven't had. Ooh, I have not had Serbian food. Have you had Serbian food? No. I wonder if Boyan cooks. You remember Boyan, mm-hmm. the guy I interviewed? He's from Serbia. Okay. Let's go to Serbia. You want to go to Serbia? It's probably not high on your list, is it? Not very high. But if Boyan was there and you could meet Boyan. Okay. Okay. Boyan's hilarious. I need to look into this guy. You don't know uh, who he is. Well, I shouldn't be presumptuous. Do you know who Paul Vanderclay is? No. Okay. Um, yeah. He makes YouTube videos and people keep telling me about him. 
I like watched like half of one of his videos. He does not. Do you know who Jordan Peterson is? Mm. 12 Rules for Life guy, controversial, conservative, political pundit. I don't know. He's like a therapist, psychologist, psychiatrist. He wrote that book, 12 Rules for Life. A lot of people don't like him. A lot of people do like him. That was probably the worst description of Jordan Peterson. People who know Jordan Peterson are probably like, what are you talking about? How do I feel about being? That feels deep. Something tells me that wasn't his full question. But how do you feel about being? (laughs) (laughs) These are the kind of questions I would ask her. Well, I feel good about it. I like being. being. Opposed to non-being? Yeah. I take being. Mm -hmm. 10 days out of 10 days. Especially being with you. (laughs) So cheesy. (laughs) So cheesy. Okay, better description of Jordan Peterson. He's a clinical psychologist at the University of Toronto. You might like some of his stuff. Daniel Way. He says that we look great together. Thank you. It's because I'm sitting next to her. And that you should appear on my channel more. Do you want to do that? (laughs) (laughs) You'll tell me after we get off this? Okay. Hey, I think you're doing pretty great. Thank you. This was pretty far out of your comfort zone, and I think you're crushing it. You're welcome. Um, well, we'll see. Oh, this is a good question from Maria. Um, what is your favorite memory from our relationship? Oh, gosh. I have to think back to like three years. Um, People who are watching this that have been married for like 30 years just <laughs> laughed at us, but that's okay. <laughs> um, favorite memory? I have no. two in mind. Okay. Where should I go first? Uh, yeah, I, you I can don't go. really know. Okay. Just like, yeah, I don't really know. Like, hmm. I have two, okay. and then you can steal one of them if you want one of them. I, I can share one of them with you. you. Um, surprising you with the trip to Canada. Oh. When she got my car and I opened up the center console and I had her passport and she mm-hmm. probably was like, are you kidnapping me? In retrospect, that might not have been like the best way of surprising you with that. Um, and then um, surprising you at the cabin. Mm-hmm. So at that point, her mom had her house there where you guys were living and then this cabin up in West Virginia. And they would go there all the time. It's it's wonderful. I love the cabin. There's no cell service and you just sit there and read books and whatever and it's great but it was the week of easter and i was working full-time at a church at this point which is just a crazy week for people in ministry Mm -hmm. and i surprised you and came down you didn't think i was coming Mm -mm. and i had planned it with her mom and her sister and they got it on video and you were like studying or something i came in and you're just like my little textbook and you just kind of froze Mm -hmm. that was really fun and then I met her family for the first time. Not mm-hmm. your immediate family, but her extended family. It was great timing. It's not why I did this, but everyone was talking about that. And they're like, man, this Austin guy, he's a keeper. And I was like, yeah, yeah, he is too. <laughs> yeah. Um. Wait, I have one. My favorite memory is in Toronto. When okay. we went to, not in Toronto, Um. Niagara Falls, like oh, Canada Niagara side. Oh, uh-huh. When it started pouring down rain and we had to run through it to your car. That was fun. Yeah. We went to see the fireworks at Niagara Falls from the Canada side. Shout out to um, Keith Little. We talked about this the other day. Canada side of Niagara Falls, much better than the American side. And also, we were talking about Canadian healthcare today. I was telling you, you get six weeks of paternity leave. Mm-hmm. What a healthcare oasis Canada is. Anyway, um, yeah, we went to see the fireworks and then it poured down rain, which was yeah. kind of a bummer, but it was so much fun just... We, like, danced in the rain to mm. Ben Rector. Mm. We're, like, that obnoxious couple <laughs> like that. Uh, just so insufferably happy. Um, ooh, this is a good... Should I, I? They're saying I should interview Sister Natalia from Christ the Bridegroom Monastery. I, it'd be fun interviewing mm. a... You want to interview a nun with me? No? Okay. I'm okay. That's fine. <laughs> um, yeah. You know, there's... I believe there's religious sisters... At Mount St. Mary's up there by St. Elizabeth's Shrine, mm. Elizabeth Ann Seton. Mm-hmm. That's like right near where you grew up, mm. Mount St. Mary's. Um, 
How tall are we? How tall are you? I am five, like three or four. Five and a smidgen. Oh yeah. Or two. Yeah. Um, I'm depending on how confident I'm feeling. I'd rather say five ten. I'd feel better saying five ten, but I think I'm like five nine. I think I don't really know. Um, I thought I saw another question I liked, but maybe I favorite way to eat potatoes. Oh, I love potatoes. I love this question. I like them all. All the ways. Yep. Raw, just bite straight into a potato. <laughs> just eat it like an apple. No, not not raw, but probably roasted. Like, and how would you cut them up? Cubed. Cubed. Like, like we had them. Were you here the other night when we had them like that? I don't think so. Uh, you missed out. Mm. Uh, what about those potato stacks you're dad made the other day oh though. yeah half-baked harvest okay i'm just gonna i'm gonna light up all of your worlds like no but sorry a little one direction action is that one direction yeah okay anyway um half-baked harvest the recipes from half-baked harvest go to halfbakedharvest.com she's not paying me but if she wants to pay me for saying this she's more than welcome to um yeah i think my mom found her over quarantine mm-hmm. and has been making them and her recipes are just so good but her potato stacks pretty mm-hmm. good yeah cool they have like cheese in the middle of them you can't go wrong with potatoes and cheese mm-hmm. oh someone's making french fries right now in an air fryer oh i love that i do that all the time mm. speaking of that we air should we should fries. probably make dinner sometime soon oh yeah we haven't done that yet yeah what are we making for dinner again Oh, those uh, uh, sun-dried tomatoes yeah. and puff pastry and cheese. Half baked uh, harvest. Yeah. Mm. Oh, and then we're gonna make creme brulee. You and my sister are gonna make that tonight mm-hmm. for your birthday. Yeah. Honestly, that's like a birthday present to her. She's gonna be so excited mm-hmm. to make creme brulee with you. Oh, that's so that, That's gonna be fun, and I'm gonna be excited to eat it. So <laughs> that works out for me. <laughs> um, really yummy. She's quite the baker, and creme brulee is her. Her specialty. What would you say? No, your lemon blue. What would you say? Your lemon blueberry cake? Your creme- she was talking about these things for years. I just had them for the first time. She would never make them for me. Yeah. Rude. Yeah. This is an interesting question. We haven't talked about this. We uh, we should talk about this right now. Live oh. on air. Um, oh, no. Okay. <laughs> When we get married, I love that you used when and not if, but that's the language mm-hmm. I use as well. Uh, when you two get married and have dozens, oh, <laughs> I didn't gosh. read that part, <laughs> dozens of kids, um, rain check on that one, uh, <laughs> dozens, dozens, like multiple dozens. Uh, anyway, we're going to continue. <laughs> He's great though, axiologist. He leaves fantastic comments all the time. Will your family do the Santa myth? That is, will you tell your kids Santa is real? A growing number of Christians don't do this. What do you think? Your parents told like, you believed in Santa as a kid, right? Mm-hmm, I did. You didn't. You're too stubborn and too smart. I tried to believe in Santa. At three. I'm sorry. At, it didn't at, make sense. Three. Reindeer goes, don't fly. He goes, Mom, reindeer don't fly. <laughs> she was so disappointed because my mother loves Christmas so much. Um, But... I heard this thing, and I I, don't know, I hadn't told you this, but I thought this was interesting. It was like, it's like, I have a secret about Santa. When you find out, come tell me. The parent says they have a secret about Santa. And when they, mm-hmm. That's interesting. Yeah. So like they don't tell them Santa's real, but they mm-hmm. just say I have a secret about It's mm-hmm. like a very clever way of like, I'm not lying. Yeah. I kind of like that though, because I... Like, I'm one of those, like, stubbornly principled people. Mm. I'd be like, I don't want to lie. Mm. But I do love Christmas. Yeah. Oh, I decorate November 1st. And don't even at me because that is the proper time for decorating for Christmas. Um, yeah, I love Christmas. Mm. Actually, people can at me. That, that was rude because people might actually have, like, good reasons as far as Advent not to decorate that early. So you can at me for that. I take it back. But if that isn't your reason, um, decorate. Because you just incorporate Thanksgiving into the Christmas season. Mm-hmm. Just just incorporate it. 
There's two of them. Yeah. Yeah. We, we were going to have like at least five Christmas trees mm-hmm. in our like studio apartment because I'm frugal. <laughs> oh gosh okay this has been so fun that was a really interesting question yeah i don't i don't know about santa yeah Yeah, i like that though i have a secret about santa the thing i think people make an interesting point about is um sometimes people like sometimes atheists will make the point of believing in god is like believing in santa Mm -hmm. and when your kids stop believing in santa are they going to think similarly about god like Mm -hmm. god's just like santa Mm -hmm. i don't know i haven't thought that through that much because i haven't thought about our dozens of kids yeah that, that's a lot of pressure that's a, if you have dozens a of, lot them, of kids that, that is a lot okay <laughs> um <laughs> yes santa did exist he was saint nicholas who smoked arius clocked him you know who arius was you probably do from yes. your book on the trinity i do so proud that's a proud moment right there you can hit the applause button. <laughs> i should have hit the applause button there I really, you should hear Eliza talk about the Trinity. She's like, she's good. Okay. Well, anything um, you want to say to people? Uh, I don't think so, but, well, I guess so. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for being here. Yeah. I hope you have a great New Year. Um, And you'll be back soon. You can't wait to, you want to do this like every day. Not every day. You think you'll do it again? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. We got a solid maybe, folks. We got a solid maybe. Remember, tomorrow's her birthday. So thanks to everyone that said happy birthday to Eliza. And thank you all so much for being here. I, I really like doing these live streams. They're pretty fun. Mm-hmm. I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe we'll do it again sometime. Maybe we won't. We'll see. But I'll be doing them again. And thank you all for being here. I hope you enjoyed the show. We'll, we'll see you soon. And we're going to go make some dinner Mm -hmm. and then some creme brulee. And then I think, I don't know. I think we might play that Harry Potter deck building game. Mm -hmm. And watch a Harry Potter movie. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be fun. All right. See ya. See you guys.